Israel Authority. What should the murid convey? How should the murid convey the message of what is right and what is wrong? And should we convey the message to both Muslims and non-Muslims? Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. How should the murids convey the message of what is right and what is wrong? Don't convey the message. Live right. Live with haq. Stay away from battle. Look at yourself every day and say, did I live with haq today? Did I wake up with haq? Did I go to work with haq? Did I speak with people with haq? Did I eat with haq or did I eat with my ego? Did I think about death or did I think about living this life forever? If you start living, that time you become the message. You don't have to convey nothing to no one. Who are we to teach anyone anything anyway? We are... That time when we are living, huck, trying to. If we are trying to hold on to the traditions of the Prophet ﷺ, it is not our light that is going to show, it is his light ﷺ. There is the light of the awliya that is going to show. There is going to be a beauty, of course. There is going to be an attraction, of course there will be. But don't try to convey, live it. That time you become the message. Because everybody now is trying to teach everyone else. And if I have a choice, I'm not going to sit here, definitely. But this is an order. It's much safer to be up there, to be just sitting down quietly. It's much harder to speak. Live your life properly. Not only Muslims and non-Muslims will understand that. Those that we see and those that we don't see will support. Because that time you're going to have satisfaction. You have satisfaction, why? The heart can only have satisfaction when he says Allah. Because whatever that you're doing, you're remembering your Lord. You're picking up a glass, you're remembering your Lord. How do you remember your Lord? Because you know, I pick up this glass, I must say Bismillah rahman rahim I cannot just drink in gaflat. Then I'm going to drink. The best way to drink, three times, say. Sunnat, I'm going to drink that way. Then you're going to say, well, these things is not really contributing to my spiritual life, let's just say. I'm going to try to get rid of it. My life is going to become more streamlined, more simple. The people that I mix around with are going to be simple. You're going to be only around those who are going to remind you of Allah and His Prophet, not others. Others, you're going to go, you're going to see, you're going to learn. But who you take guidance, who you take... Uh, Nourishment from very few. Salihin. Inshallah. May Allah forgive me. Salam alaikum. Salam. This much is enough, inshallah.